This video is to demonstrate how to enter breeding material using the input. I'm going to be using both or demonstrating both PC and app inputs. First, I wanted to start by telling you how I get prepared to enter the breeding data and just to kind of set you up. So for the next few videos, I'm going to try to demonstrate how to enter breeding data, preg check data, calving data, weaning data, etc. for a set of calves that the cooperator currently has and has weaned or is getting ready to wean. We're going to start, you know, back at, for the breeding in 2020. Those calves were born in 2021 and are being weaned in 2022. So that's the current set. So to prepare to do that, first thing I did is we'll go to the manage and hit the animals. And what I want to show you is that I've already entered the AI sires. So the AI sires for the last two seasons are listed here. They're these first six that's got the pictures. I just took a snapshot of those pictures and put them in there just for fun. Okay, because ideally we want you to take a picture of every one of your, your animals and have that picture up on your site so that if you happen to lose a tag, you might be able to identify that animal through other uh, distinctive markings. So these are the AI sires that uh, this producer used and his natural service sires. And these we entered these in and once we get done with them, then I will make them inactive so that their records will appear, but they won't appear in the active list of animals like what we're looking at here. To do that, if I want to make an animal inactive, I go to details, I go to status, I go to select inactive. And so what happens is when I make that animal inactive, I can still get a report from that animal. It just will not appear in my active set of animals. And so you're like, well, you know, I, I don't own, you know, aftershock. I don't own this AI sire, but actually you do own a portion of him, right? When you use his semen, when you AI to a bull, you own a portion of that bull. Now it's just, you know, 20 or 40 million sperm cells. So you do own that. You paid 20 to a hundred dollars, whatever it was for that straw semen. And you own a portion of that bull. And so even though it shouldn't appear on your inventory list, it's certainly he, that bull is certainly a part of your operation. You get finished using a bull and I'll, we'll even do this as we go through the second breeding season. I'll simply click details and then make that bull inactive so that we can still get reports, but I don't have to worry about him appearing on our inventory list as shown here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to the phone version and we're going to enter breeding data. We have entered the data uh, that we just discussed. So I've entered my AI sires and I'm ready to go for my daily entry uh, into extend regarding breeding our cows. So what we're going to pretend like we're at the, at the shoot, we're going to pretend like we're breeding the cows this morning and we will use the app. Okay. And then I've got an iPhone. So this is the iOS app. We will use the app to record the data. And again, we're pretending to be shoot side. So I click on extend. I click on individual breeding because we've just got a cow in. I click on the cow. The date. Now the date that we uh, are putting in, remember, is 2020 because we bred cows on December 2nd, 2020. Those cows conceived, calved, those calves were born, and we're getting ready to wean those. And I want to go through that whole production cycle. And so we're going to start with breeding. Time of day, I, I entered time of day in already uh, on the um, PC, but I really, the way I, I use this is I just set the time of day on one of the animals so that when I print the report, I know that I started at 9 a.m. Okay, 
I don't know exactly. I don't care when I bred each individual animal when I'm doing a fixed time day I. And so, you know, I'm just going to put in the time one time that'll tell me when we started and the rest of it will, will, will be fine. It doesn't necessarily particularly matter. AI Sire, I click on that. All right, there are my choices. I've got my uh, unknown down there. If you don't know, I guess you could click that. But of course, we do know this is number one. And we click pay weight. Technician is myself. Which synchronization system was used? I use the seven day cosync plus 66. If you want other, you can type it in there. If you are breeding all off of estrus detection, you can enter that data. One of the things that, that's pretty important is a lot of times we'll do the pat, put a patch on them. Okay, we got a patch on them. Then we can record whether it's activated, still gray, missing, whatever. Always good to fill in some phenotype data. How much did the cow weigh? If you have a set of scales, what was her body condition score? Hair coat score, if you're interested in that. And of course, our spring breeders will be more interested in that than our fall breeders. And then you hit the submit button. I've already entered all the data in for this set of cows. So I did not hit submit there because I would be uh, um, re-entering data. And so when I want to I go to reports, if I want to go to an individual animal. Okay, there's her. Here, let me up here, her individual breeding report from the other day, from 12 to 2020. This is cow number 36. She was bred to Boulder. You can also see some of her information up here. And that just tells you everything that you need to know about the, the breeding of that cow at a glance. So that's how you enter data using the app. Again, what I hope is that you're, you, you breed the cow, pull the sleeve off, enter the data into your app, or the person that's catching the cow can enter the data into the app while you're breeding, or you have someone that's just entering data as you go so that uh, um, the data is entered when you're going, it re it literally takes less than 30 seconds a cow, and it's much easier to just get it done right then and, and take care of your data entry at that moment. That's how you enter the data with the app. I'm going to jump in in this next video, and we're going to go over how to enter when you turn bulls out and when you bring them back so that you can generate a full report. Now we've entered in all the individual AI data. Now we're going to add group data for we, when we turn the bull out with the group. So we AI'd on 12-2. 10 days later, on 12-12, we turned the bull out. So I'm going to do group breeding. Mature cows. Date, I turned the bull in. 12-12. 2020, the bull that we turned in was Billy Bob. If you turn more than one in, you can choose more than one. And that's what we did. We turned him in on 12-12. As soon as I turned him in, just fill that out. It takes 10 seconds on your phone. No time whatsoever. All right, we want to add when we pull the bull out. So we, we remove the bull on 2, 20, 21. Bull we pulled out was Billy Bob. Submit. And that's entering breeding data. Simple, easy. If you do it on your phone, every bit of data can be recorded within 30 seconds. If you want to actually fill in every single form or every single field in a form, it might take you 40 seconds. Simple, easy, efficient.